Daily Dirt with Dustin Diggs. With Dustin. The Daily Dirt with Dustin Diggs. Diggs, 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 Diggs. All right, welcome to the Daily Dirt Dustin Diggs. What an exciting podcast we have tonight. Poetic is here. Uh, yeah. Brylene, hit him in. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. Morcel is here. So welcome to the show. What's Boom. Up, yeah. What's up? Uh, yeah. Two, first two timers here. So uh, hit him has been here a couple times. Uh, so we, once. We, just once. Nice. Oh, okay. Once. Well, you came to the studio. Yeah, 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 I did come to the so, studio. And yeah, and first then time first time here. Yeah, our second yeah. time here. Uh, so so tell us about the project going on. Yes, the project is titled Saints. It's my first full collaboration project um, where I just um, where I produce the beats and produce the the records and bring these wonderful dope ass artists in here with me. Yeah. Um, but more so for me, it was also um, really me stepping out there as a producer, um, and I wanted to really do what a producer does. I wanted to get the artists involved with the process. I wanted them to feel comfortable and um, you know, I think with that said, it came out with some really dope records. <laughs> so how many songs are on the on the? There are four tracks, four. and we're going to listen to three of them today because we have three of these artists here. I okay. want to go through them with. So are they each featured on just one one song each, or are they all featured throughout the whole? One song each. They one all song have each. Their, okay. Have song. Okay. <laughs> so kind of like let's do a little backstory. Talk talk about like when you decide to do this project. Why did you reach out to these guys here? Like what? Well, for me in general, um, I'm a. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's my, you know, it's second or third time here. I think it's really clear. I'm, I'm a real creative, creative. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. um, I'm really musical, and I really like to work with artists that um, I think are going to really bring the best out of the record. Mm. And with that said, I just kind of keyed into the city. I just kind of keyed into the scene. I was just kind of stalking these guys on Facebook and <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Hit I already know me and him are. That, that's my well, that's he's family a legend. He's right a legend there. over there, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know. Um but um but <laughs> with each um record I record I even kind of idealized in my head I wanted a certain thing and um these guys just fit. Marcel actually posted on his own um this was back in 2019. And again, I was already stalking these guys in general. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, he had posted saying that he was like kind of looking for production and looking for beats, and I was like on it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And when I saw like you know, you know, you know, when I saw more, I was already like working with my A game track, and I was like really looking for a feature that can really bring a certain kind of swag. And I start bumping into this Brylin McDaniel guy on Facebook, <laughs> and <laughs> kind of like just keying into what he brings in, and then. I saw him mention something about wanting to collab, and I was just like, on "That's it." it. <laughs> <She's> like, on <laughs> it, you know. <laughs> well, let's. So when she reached out to you, what, what was your thoughts? Like, when uh, and pull the mic to you oh, when you get. Okay. Yeah, when you, okay. You, when you get uh, yeah, I, I've known Poetic for a little minute. I used to, uh, I used to be really doing a lot more shows um, back in like 2013, 2014. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a different name then. It was Bionic and not Marcel Rashad, um, okay. but. I've been a fan of hers since I heard her first time at open mic. I think it was the legacy. Mm, um, wow, yeah. Yeah. Way, way back, way back. I'm showing Sheesh. my age. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So Sheesh. I was a fan <laughs> since then. And, you know, we just kept on kind of running into each other. I, I'd done one show for her a little while back and it was just a matter of time before we finally collabed. So uh, that time came and we just worked out and punched out a really dope record. So yeah. let me get, let me break it down. So you you made the beat for and you sent him a beat or a, who who did what to like how how did like so initiate with, uh, with him and with him I made the beats with these artists. Oh, with them, okay. Yeah, separate mm-hmm. sessions, of course. But I I actually was was with him in the studio. I you know he came out mm-hmm. and um, we worked on it together. I just wanted wow. to feel his energy. I wanted to create a vibration that matched him and matched whatever creatively he was going for, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She yeah. actually sent me the beat early for uh she actually sent me the beat at mm-hmm. first. She was just like, What do you think about this beat? And I was like, That's kinda fire. So I ended up I just kinda like when she sent it, 
I have I just wrote the original because she sent this the instrumental at first. So I just like okay, how you want it to sound? Because I think it sound like this. <laughs> and then I just sent her like a a quick little uh, verse and hook idea. She was like, no, nah, I'm gonna do it like this. And so then when she sent that, I was like, I can work with that. Too. <laughs> I can work with that. So then yeah, after that, then um I, I laid my track on, uh, yeah. lay my verse on it. Yeah, mm. it was like silk too. He just kind of. Like, all right, yeah, okay, yeah, kind of, you know, we, fit, you know, fill each other out. And right. He just kind of did it. It was like, maybe, was it just one trick? I feel like it was like one take. Maybe it, it was, was two. It was one, yeah. Yeah. It was one like, take, it was, wow. And it was Shit. like legit good. And I'm really picky. I right. don't just take the first take normally. I'm normally yeah. just like, can we do this? Or can we do that? But it was like, it just matched. I was just like, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> For real. And then I, I, talk about how oh, you, so you reached out to him, man. Yeah, I had been wanting is I had been wanting to do a um a record with him in general that was just more, you know, homegrown, real more intimate. Mm -hmm. We've done features and you know, we've always supported each other's stuff, but it was different for me this time. I wanted to really kind of, you know, get with him and, and feel him out like I did any other like I did, you know, the other artists and uh, like the how I had the ideas in my head. So I just kind of reached out, and I was just like simple, like, hey, I, I really want to build something with you. Let's, let's try it. You know, let's vibe. And he came through, and I'm like, okay, cool. And to be honest, I was actually very surprised at how musical he is. Like, he would hum out something, and mm -hmm. I would maybe, you know, I'd, I'd play because, you know, he, you know, I'd, you know, I'd play it by ear. Mm -hmm. And then he would also kind of play that back by ear and be like, well, what about this kind of melody? Well, what about this? And then even throughout the process, when we were actually piecing the record together and actually arranging the beat, he had like really great input on where things would go. And I was just like, that, that's, it was just different energies with each artist mm -hmm. and all of them were unique and all of them just made like really that's dope. Years of wisdom for, yeah. 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 It was awesome. It was talk, awesome. talk about your perspective real quick. Just swing the mic to you a little bit. Well, Hmm, how can I explain my perspective, really? Like, because pretty much is, pretty much is like how she said, mm -hmm. you know, like came through to the studio, but I was actually feeling a whole different other type of way anyway. So with that, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how the beat that I did for what's the song, Can't Deal. Like, that's how that came out. And mm -hmm. I, I mean, shoot, like I said, I can not, I mean, how else can I explain it? It just came up like, like what it is. And real, and shoot, really, and actually, yeah, and actually, yeah, I actually surprised myself because I didn't even think I had, <laughs> I didn't even think uh, I could actually put it together, you know, the melodies and the this and that, mm -hmm. like how I did <laughs> anyway. Which I mean, I always had a ear for music anyhow, you know, with different yeah. instruments and you know, pianos, guitar riffs, and everything like that. I just never actually like played anything on a consistent basis, but I know what I hear in my head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like so I mean it actually I I feel I feel like it actually came out how it was supposed to. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. So did you feel like it's I haven't hit, heard it yet. We're gonna hear it here in a second, folks, but is it something like you you uh kind of stretched your kind of something different for you? Mm. Way different. Way different? That's, Way different. Wow, okay. That's exciting. Yeah. It is. It's All right, uh hook the is the Bluetooth hooked up yet? I I actually had just messaged you. I can't get it to Oh well, here, um, <laughs> it's, let me try it again. Yeah, it's on TV, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can probably pull up on SoundCloud if we have to. I just have it. Um, the files right on my phone. Oh, okay. If I have them right in the folder. I can just let them there. I'm on so, my phone. If you need uh, like an email. Do 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 dead air, dead air, dead air. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's, um, How about those Cardinals? How about those Cardinals? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, 31 4 day might right around be, the corner. Might not be a baseball season this year. Mm. Might not be. Well, they keep, they got the, uh, the, they keep postponing it. To, really? Because of the, yeah, because of the, I something to do with that. the, uh, players union. Oh. Doing some of that stuff. Okay. So they keep pushing mm. the start time back. You know, I, I think I've seen something like that too. I'm going to have to read up on it. Like, I'm going to have to read up on it some more. Yeah. Uh, so. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, we're right. We're right. <laughs> okay. What, who we want to do first? Who, who, first. We're going to start with the track. We'll track one, the intro that Marcel blessed me with. Okay. Stay okay. Ghost. Stay, Stay Ghost. ghost. Any other ghost. things we want to pitch to the audience here with Stay Ghost? Any other setup? 
Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so, uh, so the the concept I kind of have in my head for Stay Ghost is kind of the death of uh, my alter ego. Uh-huh. Uh, at first, I was bionic, and that's because I want to be super lyrical and have all the rippity raps and all that stuff. So after I figured out that no one really wants to listen to that, I formulated <laughs> a different alter ego called Charlie Brown. Um, okay. I got a little older, and I figured out I need to really create alter egos. I can just be myself. Mm. Humans are complicated. We can do more than one thing at once. So uh, that's why I changed my name to Marcel Rashad. MCs are still going to call me Bionic. MCs are still going to call me Charlie Brown. But this is kind of like the unofficial death of that version of that artist. Wow. Um, okay. so, so that's why I'm doing my rippity raps. It's kind of like this is the last hurrah of this character is kind of what it's supposed to represent here. Um, and yeah, I yeah. think that's enough. That's a good setup. <laughs> yeah. That's a good setup. All right. It is, man. All right, let's hear exclusive here in the Daily Dirt. Yes. Off the chains, the chain with titty boy and boys and bell bid the biz like Marky RT partly crazy. Call me cookie, cut the cars and calories from eating MCs. Cookie, cookie, cutter, carbon copies, constant cars and brain vomit. Sounds demonic, on it, guys, down it, down it, down the dose, down it, down while wow, I'm damaging down myself. The dime doesn't rise in 50 miles, reminds me of echo chamber changes down with save your notebooks and coat hangers. Your hooks and bars get took apart and burn apart from paper. Vapors, vapors, holy smokes and vapors. You better run, you better run. Your life's in danger, they like vapors, vapors, holy smokes and vapors. You better run, you better run. Your life's in danger, they like shh. Dead men don't make a sound. This the motherfucking funeral for Mr. Charlie Brown. They like, they like shh. Dead men don't make a sound. This the motherfucking funeral for Mr. Charlie Brown. Stay ghosts. Gone, gone, check his post. I think he did, I think he did. Who gonna tell his folks? My nigga, stay ghost. I really think he toast. I burnt the bread price on your head, don't mean to brag and boast. My nigga, stay ghost. He gone, gon' check his post. I think he did, I think he did. Who gonna tell his folks? My nigga, stay ghost. I really think he toast. I burnt the bread price on your head, don't mean to brag and boast. They strap like CIE, no peace, nigga, say la vie. Whoa, stay a raise to the death of me. Charlie Brown, this is R.I.P. Whoa, stay strap like CIE, no peace, nigga, say la vie. Whoa, stay a raise to the death of me. Charlie Brown, this is R.I.P. Whoa, dead men don't make a sound. This the motherfucking funeral for Mr. Charlie Brown. They like, dead men don't make a sound. This the motherfucking funeral. Stay ghost, he gon' gon' check his post I think he did, I think he did Who gonna tell his folks? My nigga, stay ghost I really think he toast I burnt the bread price on your head Don't mean to brag and boast My nigga, stay strapped like C.I.E. Yeah. No peace, nigga, stay la vie Whoa, stay a raise to the death of me Charlie Brown, this is R.I.P. Whoa, stay strapped like C.I.E. Yeah. No peace, nigga, stay la vie Whoa, stay away to the death of me. Charlie Brown is a Whoa. Quotes from postmortem. His halo has horns that could pierce the heavens and bleed out the reddest of wines. Yes, your time has come. As he stares down the barrel of this loaded. Stay ghost. Stay ghost. Stay ghost. Stay ghost. All right. Stay ghost. <laughs> I just have to say real quick, um, for me as an artist and as a creative, mm-hmm. it's always like a blessing <laughs> to have this kind of moment right here. Like this, this dope. is kind of like, this is, this is super dope. This is like, you know, I get to be a part of the demise of a character of an artist. <laughs> that sounds terrible, I guess, in words, but it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. I like, um, I like, it was catchy. It was catchy. I was, Yeah. Yeah, I still hear hear you in my head right now. So okay, yeah, dope. That's good. That's a point. Good. Get it to stick, you know. For a, a visual like, uh, for if there was a music video for that for that song, what 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 do you see? What do you guys see when you when you do that song? 
I feel like I've described him a, a couple different times in various ways throughout sessions. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, I I think it almost a cartoon in my head, uh, like a like mm. an old cartoon, like um, Casper almost. Mm. Okay, uh, that's what I kind of envision, um, and it's. And like I said, death in this case is more of a celebration of the end. Right. It is supposed to be haunting, but it's more of like, um, I mean, it's, it's about as haunting as a PG-13 horror movie. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right, right, um, yeah. So that's kind of what I envision, uh, uh, kind of like an old cartoon. It's got to be in black and white. Yeah. That, and yeah. White. yeah. yeah. It's got to be black okay. and white. Yeah, for sure. I can already see it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I think so. That's cool. I, that, that's really, really Are dope. you playing any music videos for your project? I am. <laughs> I got something for y'all coming you, soon. <laughs> you, you, you had something that came out right here, right? That's 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 also off of. I've, I just got a ton of content out. Okay. <laughs> that's also uh, that's off of Capricorn Close. Okay, we'll, we'll, last year. we'll play that at the end here. So, uh, cool. I, I yeah. yeah, I like that song. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I I one of the things that um I enjoyed about the process that record I, I enjoyed making it and I enjoyed for me as um as an engineer being able to really play with textures. Mm. You know, he gave me a lot of wiggle room, not just um, with the beat, but even with just like the idea of how to, how to pull a record together. Mm. You know what I mean? And I think that, you know, those little things and those tweaks and all that stuff along the way just yeah. really made it cohesive. Yeah. You know, you have like that, that like sneaky slide in of that, like chop and screw, like that undertone yeah. underneath this like chan. And then you get like that almost like, overdrive sounding like guitar thing on the top of the vocal at the end. And you get that, the breath that like, you know, you know, he's, he's going to go check his post, <laughs> like all that yeah. little stuff. And I yeah, took that like just that. from him. And I was, I thought that was like the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just took one like random, like little breath and, you know, edited in a weird, crazy way. And, you know, it's like, it was like the small things that I think is what made, uh, it's really what gave dynamic to that record. And yeah. that's mm -hmm. that's the purpose of Saints to show that, like, right here, right here at home, right here in St. Louis, right here, right here, we make some dope-ass shit. Oh, well, I know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Podcast, we got power. Yeah. We, we're we creatives. We know how to make records. Yeah. That's what, that's what, that's. There's so many great people here in St. Louis. It's yeah. Just, yeah. 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 Uh, I feel like that song could be like on like a soundtrack to a movie or a TV yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like almost like Euphoria. Yeah, Have you ever seen that movie on, Ooh, like, on that HBO? Show. Yeah, yeah, something like that it has that kind of kind of vibe to it. Yeah. I did watch that. I have to. I still haven't watched it yet. Uh, I have to see, think of her and something else. It's, it's yeah, a little yeah. weird. See, I got into it, and then when I got, I only watched like a couple episodes. And then, like, I just stopped for a second, and then everybody started talking about it again. Yeah, that's how it is. It, like, two that's, seasons that's passed. Like, wait. <laughs> yeah. I just started watching it's, it. She's Look. pretty awesome, man. She's a hell of an actress. Yeah. Zendaya is definitely dope. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think she would take on a role like that, but look. Yeah. It's work. It works. Right. You know, but it's dynamic. She's just showing your... She's on the range. range. Yeah, she's making all that money from Spider Man movies, yeah. and then she's uh, yeah, yeah she's, she's doing still that. making money on Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, still in theaters. Don't forget right. that uh, that that really good movie that they did on Netflix with her and uh, Denzel Washington's Oh, I forgot the name son. of it. I, know what I shouldn't label him a Denzel Washington's Oh, son, shit, Lord. what is that? What the hell is that called? I forgot what it's called, but I know it's just like the about. name of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, it's, no. No, it's, no, it's the name after movie. the couple, yeah. Uh, yeah it was very good, yeah. very well written. And yeah. like, she apparently she had a lot to do with like the direction of that, and I was like, really? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, she's she's showing she got chops. She, got, <laughs> yeah. she came a long yeah. way from Disney, I'll tell you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. All right, the next uh, track here we have. Next, we're gonna go into Kink Deal, featuring Hit a Man. All right. <laughs> yes. Let me, first, let me first say I I thought this song that I did was gonna be an album filler or something in some cases. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna get played here. And when you hear it, you'll, you'll see why. I, that's, that's what I, was like. I think it's great. Yeah. I think I think vulnerability is powerful. I think that it's important for us as artists to relate the um, the message through us sharing our experiences that you're not alone. You know, everyone's journey can relate to another. Whether we are, we're all separate. We're all our own individuals. But even in our darkest of times, just as much in our highest of times. We can all relate to each other. Right. And um, I took a lot of pride and enjoyment in this one as well. 
So can't deal by my boy. Right. <laughs> Me and a dark place trying to come back to the light and some type of sex. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about yeah. that after. after. Yeah. Light one up to this if you want to. Yeah. It started off as spoken word, but it just led to this. Now, some of you might can. Uh, you know what? I ain't even gonna talk about it no more. Just sit back and listen. Yeah. Yeah. I thought too long. Work too hard. Finally tired. It's like every time I go in, get scored up trying to go higher. Just think all the times you tried your best, knowing you still might get fired. Now I know I can't feel when he was speaking through that wire. They built you up to kill your hope and shatter your last desire. By any means, no matter the cost, whatever the deed requires. Talking about how much I rock. Talking about taking over spots. Next thing you know, you get be little and told all your ideas are flops. Did you tell yourself you as a man and your word is all you got? After people showed you that you colors out the gray box. No, I can't see no business point of view when she get personal. That's why my middle finger to your world and don't need no commercial. Uh -uh. It's easy to view your out of shell and not there in the pain. It's hard to see the black ink that's injected in your veins. Seems like I held these black and tears back for a long while. I keep my guard up and hide it all with a little smile. A lot of times, I don't know how fake feel. I can only tell you what I know is real. They said I never had no chill They might say that cause they never been in the field If only I could turn it here Maybe now you know why I just can't deal Funny how this came about at first I ain't even know where to start But if I have did this song, gotta get it back And I mean that from the heart Even when I'm in that type of zone Sometimes it leaves me dead and hurt My brother and my cousin past can't tell if I'm better or worse Still can't help but think how they wanna see me buried in the street them niggas had they wait, they make sure I would never speak Feel like I couldn't get nothing right, so I couldn't tell if I was strong or weak So I tried to cut myself to find out if the blood was smelling sweet Now I gotta thank God for allowing my dog to come and save my life Cause had I went and did it, I would no longer see a day and night I finally came to senses and made a choice and I put down the night And you got the nerve to tell me I ain't about that shit, I rap with right You ain't bought my valley and faced off with the shadow of death Saying like, yeah, but like that's because, like I said, like I said, um, like mid 2019 up until like 21, you know what I'm saying? Like, before before COVID, that's when like mental health really started, started trying to kick my ass. And like, when people tell you, when people get on social media and say, like, Men like, check your mental health, like, for real, check your fucking mental health, like, that's 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 real, like, and I actually found out the hard way mm -hmm. and it came out in the song of course which like i said sounds where i probably shouldn't even did it but you know just like poetic said who knows like there might be somebody out there that listens to it and just be like okay yeah you're not alone maybe somebody out there be like oh, sure, might yeah. just say me too you know or something but but yeah like i just but yeah it just that that came out today when you went to the booth and you did that, is it hard to do a song like that when you have to be kind of like in that kind of mindset to to tap into that kind of feeling? Like, do you have to like think of some like shit to get you to that place to 
to do that song? Or do you have to? Uh, if it makes sense, no, but yes. Mm. I mean, yeah, it's easy to think up. It it'd be easy to think up some think up something and just come up with something like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's that'll be a that'll be a way for it to work. Right. But in certain situ in certain situations that happen like just right then and there or even recent, that's de- that's definitely when it might just hit a little bit deeper. Might hit a little so a song might hit a little bit hard like that. Mm. And for me, like I said, it was a mixture of like all of that. Is it hard for you to like listen to it back? Does it tap into like, yeah, or is it more like a therapy to you? Like, to... in, in a way, it's a it's a little bit like therapy. Okay. It's release therapy in the type gotcha. of sense. Gotcha. Wow. But some, but sometimes in certain, and if you're in a certain mode, it might bring it might bring up certain memories. So sometimes, sometimes you might not want to listen to nothing like that. But it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely release therapy for real. Like when, at least when I recorded it. Right. Yeah. What do you think? I think um, you can feel it in the song. The, yeah. Like the therapy feel. in it is just, yeah. just as much as, you know, you're hearing the words and, and some of the, just like the piercing and pain. You get to that melody and the, you get to that chorus and you just, uh, it's almost like even though it's still real, you, you can breathe. Yeah, and I think that's kind of like a reflection of the of really like the therapy showing in the artist, and also even just kind of again getting back even into like the production of it, even in the arrangement of the beat. You know, he deliberately chose where to pull some of that out in the chorus so he could really lean into it himself vocally and get that off. You know, and all those things I think create that mm-hmm. that, that that balance in the record mm-hmm. and. At the same time, when you just listen to it in full, it's like you get the feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know how fake feels, but this is real. This is this is what it is, but I still, I push forward somehow. I don't know how, but I'm pushing forward somehow. Like, you mm-hmm. feel that energy. And that's why I think it's, you know, that's that's one of the things that makes his record a powerful record. They're all powerful records. No, they're all, you know, <laughs> they're, all no they're, they're, they're all powerful they're in their own unique ways. And I think that's, the vulnerability is really the power in the record. And then you got even just the cadence in his voice. My goodness. It's like, yeah. you can't help but listen to what he's saying. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you, you're just like, you're just not. And you just, you're you just with yeah, it, you're just feeling it. It feels like a, like a reflective song. Cause when I, I don't know the backstory, but I, when I was listening to it just a second ago, I was thinking my past things and struggles and things. Yeah. It's like, you're, yeah. you're yeah. thinking of just personal, personal it, He struggles. locks you in. He's telling right. you your story, but he's making you just more so just lock in with an emotion, with the vibe. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's filling the room mm. when, when that song comes on, everything stops. But it feels good still somehow. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It still feels good somehow. Yeah. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. It's really dope. Yeah. Same. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. For a music video, uh, what, what 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 do you think? What what do you see when you see that? I want to leave yeah. with the artists. What do you see? Do you I see? mean, I got a couple ideas. Yeah. You know, like say if I was in maybe. Uh, not so much of a creek, but somewhere in the woods or something like that. You know, just you know, just taking taking time to myself. Mm-hmm. That's how that's how I would picture. You know, me just talking to myself, talking out talking out loud. Mm-hmm. As I'm, you know, like as I'm talk, like I'm literally having writing, literally having these uh having this conversation while spitting these bars, talking to God Himself. You know, mm-hmm. but then my other conscious, which would definitely be myself. You know, in my court, like I'll probably be saying saying half of my chorus in my ear and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's that's how I pictured it. That's so. Like I said, I got a couple ideas. That was just that was just one of them. I like that. That kind of goes to what we're saying. That sense of like reflection. Yeah. You know. Right. Yeah. And feeling it. I love it. I that's, liked it. I liked it. Yeah. It was something different from me. I haven't heard yet. So that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's yeah, and that's the other thing, you know, we don't get a lot of that from this guy. Yeah. I didn't expect it either. I actually yeah. <laughs> I, I, well, you know, when we first started even in the beginning, I I came with um to these guys 
And I just, all of you guys, really with no expectations. Mm-hmm. I just let them f- feel it out. You know what I mean? I just, yeah. what, like whatever works. <laughs> like, hey. I just know that I wanted to work with them. And I know that whatever whatever they liked, I was going to like, we're going to build it somehow. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, with a, with, a, with a track that I had already had, I just sent him. I'm more so like, I wanted to build a, I wanted to build a vibe. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And bam, got that vibe, you know. With Marcel, I want kind of the same thing. I wanted to build a vibe, but more of like an energy, you mm-hmm. know, like that mm-hmm. that kind of thing. And bam, it was like, we got it, you know. And it's just everything just kind of Meshed created together. itself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> you know, that's right. awesome. Yeah. You know, if y'all, if y'all don't mind me chiming in a little bit, like as far as, you know, as far as can deal when she first, you know, we first talked about what she wanted to do for this project, mm-hmm. and we had our first meeting at the studio. That's when, when, like I said, I already had, like I said, a lot of things were going on, like in my world, but I already had the idea for the song, even for the chorus in my head, half of it anyway. I think I told you. I think we talked about that. So, um, I think so. Pretty much, like, I know what I know what I wanted to do, like inside of my brain. It's just, it's just sometimes it was hard piecing it all together. Mm. And at that point, you know, you know, Poet called me. She, you know, we got to talking about that, and that's when that's when that beat happened. Everything just, everything pretty much just came out of my brain into her computer in, in a way. <laughs> right. That made if that made some type of sense. Did it come Perfect out? Sense. Did it come out better than you thought it was? Would actually, yeah, it did. Yeah, Maybe a few tweaks here and there, but yeah, it actually did. I always love to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I always love to hear that. Yeah, um, you know, I take really great pride in in my craft and in my job. And the specific project for me was me doing my job as not just an engineer, but as a producer. I like making records that are holistically good. I don't really like just throwing verses on tracks. I'm just not in that stage, Story really. Verse. And I also really am not the big... You know, as a producer, I'm not really the big, oh, I'll send you a big pack, I'll send you a, um, you know, a sample pack kind of person. I'd rather just build it with you. Like, I'd rather build a vibe. Now, don't get me wrong. I can do it by myself. (laughs) You know, I make beats all the time. I can can pump out dozens a day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that's just not what this was about for me. And for me, I knew that I wanted to make a project where I showed um, myself and the city the city being secondly, I'm more so one to show myself, but I knew how to really produce, how to make these records and how um, to really collab and do that with other people. I really, I really want, this is all almost kind of experimental for me. Like I've been making music, but I haven't made this yet. Mm. I want to make something that people will listen to and be like, dang, poetic made that? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but in the sense of like, I just didn't, she doesn't just normally put out music like that. I wanted to show that I could put out music per artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. I wanted to show that I could that I could really that I could collab, that I can really make something like I can make a vibe, you know what I'm saying? That's just unique and also just brings out the power and shows the artist's creativity cuz I feel like on the on the opposite end of the spectrum, not a lot of artists get to just meet up with a producer and jam in a studio and make and make a song. That's just not happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? There might be a lot of artists that, you know, collab and do things, but as far as, like, being fully in the process, we don't have a lot of those spaces. And to be honest, I don't think even just by us being independent artists, I don't even think we have a lot of that time. Mm, yeah. So for me to actually, yeah. you know, really sit down and do my best to get, you know, the artists involved and really make it an, an, an intimate process, I think that's what really kind of catered to the project as a whole, let alone each record. So I really thank these guys for being a part of it. And now for the grand finale. The grand finale. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yes, <laughs> for the sir. Grand finale. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I feel like we, I feel like we kind of talked about our we experience about together. Little, yeah. yeah, we talked about it a little bit. But yeah, yeah like, we saw, like we said earlier, she sent me the beat. Mm-hmm. I was like, look, it's just like this a little bit. <laughs> but we're, we're flexible. Like, I'm really good at being flexible with people. Mm-hmm. And if they didn't like it, I'm quick to, you know, change and innovate. I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna half anything. So I try to, I try to work with everybody. Everybody has a different vibe and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, it was just, it was natural though. Like, like Miss Poetic said, it was, it was really easy. Um, she sent it, 
And then I was like, okay, I can work with that. And then I just popped up one day, and then we just laid it. We got we got done in like what thirty minutes or it something. Was like that. Wow. It, was it was pretty, pretty short. It was pretty short. It was like the quickest like, session ever. Yeah, it was. Pretty, <laughs> it was pretty short. So like yeah. I said, I, I hardly ever ever get them like clean, one take and dirty. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So I was like, you know, I actually like had a had like a set, like you know, at least a good two hours set out of my day planned, and yeah, you just kind of <laughs> nailed it. I was like, well, I I think that's it. Right. And I was like, uh. <laughs> what do anything else? <laughs> like, right. uh, go get a sandwich. Um, <laughs> oh, you should have offered that on the table. Too. We would have went to get one. Look, right? right? <laughs> no, it was. It was just. It was clean. Oh, where now, my damn sandwich at? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Look, you, you can do a sandwich. She ain't getting no sandwich. I ain't got no sandwich. I ain't getting no chicken. No chicken. We got a thank you and goodbye. A bag of chips or something. <laughs> yeah. Now this is um the only track the on the album that actually has a um. Or I'll say a nationwide feature on there. Mm-hmm. It's my guy, Democracy. Um, he's out of Miami. He's okay. a really dope individual. I met him at a uh, performance back in 2019. And he had <laughs> the, a swag, what I was looking for, for this beat. I actually really fell in love with this beat that I that I made mm. um, a while back. And I just kept nitpicking at it and... It never left my mind. That's how I knew I wanted to make it a record. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But at the same time, though, I also didn't quite know um, where I was going with it either because I just kind of wanted to flex and have fun <laughs> on even myself, you know? Right. Um, but then once, it, you know, and that kind of all came out, I just like, you know what? I'm just going to talk about my love for music, mm-hmm. my love for hip-hop, my love for the game. And it just, it came out real slick and smooth. So, yeah, um, whenever I sent it to... The artist, um, like, like I said, his name is Democracy. He was just like, oh, yeah. And he sent it back also, like, the same day, very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> the beat was smooth. I can't yeah. lie. The beat was real smooth. So that kind of tells me that I gave the beat to the right artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To artists that felt the energy, that felt that, that felt the vibe and just could just do it and kind of nail it. And, uh, yeah, here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> and what, the title is one more time? A Game. A Game. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go. I'm a beer go pie. I ain't worried about all the bullshit. We leave that behind us. Magnanimous monogamy with me. I know she can find a lover who better. Given everything that I got, do I still with this resolution? Antagonist, my uh-huh. insecurities, influence, and thoughts holding me back from this love. Twisting the plot, but I'm in love with hip hop. I'm an artist. There's always gonna be another verse. Me, conversely, the adversity. You know why I started. I go harder when they tell me who it is that I'm supposed to be. Some haters, please bring out the worst of me. I know I'm guarding, guarding it so high. A million savings with the flavor of love, now victory so close that I can taste it. My people, I know who you are. I'll never forget you. The main ingredient of success, yes, you've been amazing. One, the serious, it's not a game. She put me on, I came on strong, skip my A game. Let her go, well, that's a no, and I ain't playing. I'm on my A game, I'm on my A game. Put it down all over town on my A game. Already know about the flow, keep the A game. Got it, my hold it down on my A game. Keep my A game strong on my A game. Like Miss Poetic said that hit should get behind us And all the misery will never get to find us Real hip-hop is back to remind us And everything we gotta make will be timeless But all them niggas wanna come against Real lyrical bullets making you run a fence The number hits, it's like you summer humming this No pun intended when I say you gun clips. It's hard to be faithful to this game and not sell out And everybody take you for lame and doubt your route But shout out to the ones with class and positivity I'm born a puppet Yes, but ain't nobody feeling me, but it'll change soon. D mock, better change tunes. And pay attention to that nerdy rhymes that ain't rude. Making the imprint with an intent like instant fame. But we got what it takes to be in this game. Huh. This love is serious, this not a game. She put me on, I came on strong, skip my A game. Let her go, well, that's a no, and I ain't playing. I'm on my A game, I'm on my A game. Put it down all over town on my A game. Already know about the flow, keep the A game. Got it, my holy day. Game. Wow. My A game, my A game strong, yeah. my A game, A game. Me and you in love, we 
like twin flames I know you love when I'm inside of your mainframe Tell me how do I maintain You got me sprung, I admit you changed my lane I'ma do the dash to the run, gotta get away Cause you crash the walls, I put in place Changing chemicals up in my brain Crazy how you got a nigga out his A game God dang, I really ain't wanna get this way But it really seems as I was gonna be And when you look at sweet, just like candy canes Got the world on your shoulders You care way too much about what people say But it's cool cause I know you selfish And it shows in your mental, girl, you can't help it And you know I'm way persistent, girl, I can't help it Cause it's in the game, listen to what I'm saying Listen. Love the sweetest, it's yeah. my A game She put me on, I came on strong, it's my A game Let her go, well that's a no, and I ain't playing I'm on my A game, I'm on my A game Pretty bad all over town on my A game Already know about the flow, to the A game Got it, my hold it down on my A game Keep my A game strong on my A game, A game That melody goes crazy. That beat. Uh, and, and one one take, huh? Yes, sir. One, one take. take in the booth. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Man. One take. Wow. It was fire, though. Like, the right. melody, it just captivated me. Like, right. you know, I love beats <laughs> like that where you, you, you don't have to. It's like, well, when I do music, I look at I look at the instrument while I listen to the instrumental and I can hear the words. Mm-hmm. So so that's why it's easier for me to write a song. Like if I don't vibe with the beat at all, it's kind of hard for me to you know to piece together the words mm-hmm. cuz I don't hear it pretty much. Well, it gotta so talk to you then. Yeah, yeah, it got to talk yeah. to me. That's the only that's why I have Sorry. I guess not to toot my horn, but I have like a good beat selection or a different beat selection than a lot of different art a lot of artists here. Right. Um so yeah, every time I pay attention to the beat, I, I can hear everything. So yeah. that's how kind of how it goes. That's what's up. That was awesome, yeah. <laughs> I, feel like I feel like that's like uh, could be in some type of movie, some kind of sports movie or something. I don't know. Like, mm. I, was, I, was, I was thinking like White Man Can't Jump kind of like soundtrack or whatever. <laughs> I was, it had like a 90s kind of feel to it to me. But I mean, I, yeah. not, it's not an insult. I liked it. Yeah. Mm. I like that yeah. too. Yeah. I, I can see that on a, like an episode of Bel Air or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't yeah, seen it. Is yeah. it good? Man, it's good, but when you watch the show, I don't know how you're going to feel about him, but I want to beat the shit out of Carl today. Oh, hey, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I seen the new episode. I said, oh, no, nah, I want to beat the shit out of Carl today. <laughs> it's Carlton Banks. The, it's nothing compared to the old Carlton yeah. Banks. He, <laughs> he was just was, annoying. Uh-huh. But this one right here, you just. He a savage. He, I ain't going to say he a savage. Wait, what he do? Yeah, he's a uh-huh. damn. I, you can say he a savage, a corporate <laughs> savage. She hit a bell or savage. You I'm just want to beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about that. I like that song though. I really like. Yeah, it. I like. Yeah, it. yeah. it's a really yeah. good beat. And yeah, you want to get up and crib while just like watching the Super Bowl. All <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just slick, smooth. You know, um, real clever way to uh, to dedicate. You know. Dedicate my love to hip hop, to the culture, yeah. to, mm-hmm. You're just to what we do. Mentioned Super Bowl. Did you guys ever want to do this live in front of an audience? These songs. Oh, we will be. Yeah. So um, April the seventh, I have a performance at Westport. Um, this is my one of my first main performances back. It. I am the feature in their open mic that they host there. They do it every Thursday night. Yep. Um, but we're mm-hmm. trying to really go crazy for this one. I'm looking for artists, and I have. Um, Albert's gonna be doing. Uh, okay, I called you by your government name. It just slipped. Yes. <laughs> it just slipped. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but Hit of Maine is gonna be uh, is gonna be there <laughs> doing <laughs> doing doing this track. She already said my real name now. She no, no, right. <laughs> um, <Ugly I'll>, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I also have uh, Randy the Boss coming out. Damn. We doing a track off of R and okay. and I'll be doing some stuff off of Capricorn. So. 
And that's yeah. April April 7th, 7th. at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Doors o'clock. open at 7. It's a free event. Free, 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 free event. Okay. So we just want a bunch of folks to come on in. Um, mm-hmm. Enjoy Light yourselves. Out. Have a good time. See a great show. I'll be bringing my band out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll have to come watch you perform. Yeah, yeah. Done, yeah. It's on my bucket list. It's yeah. on my bucket list. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely free. You got to yeah. buy your own drinks, but it is free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it ain't free enough, man. It's free to walk in. It's just free to walk in. It ain't free enough. <laughs> it's going to be crazy, but I'm, I'm looking for artists. We're trying to make it uh, big. We're looking... Um, Try to do something a little different, even with the with the list here. So mm. I'm definitely looking for artists, just as much as I'm looking for people to come out and support the saints of of creativity. That's what I'm calling you for the night. Oh, that's a good it's name. It's like, yeah, I'm wow, just, that's I'm a good name. it like a saints takeover. So I want oh, all man, of the great, great artists. Name. Everybody, hit me up. I want to get everyone locked in. I want us to have a great show. Uh, great time. That's a great name. All right, let's go around the table here. Go ahead and yeah. give a shout out. Here we got. We got Brian Lean in here. Um, you can follow me on all platforms. B R Y L E A N. Um, yeah, Riley. I make um, all type of music right now. I'm working on a new new album as we speak. Doing a whole bunch of stuff coming up. Hey. All right. Yeah. Well, you got to come on when you get something finished here. Oh come yeah, on. I got I got something planned already. Hey. Can't wait to hear. It. Yes, man. Uh, lean up a little bit so we get you in the camera there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll get you some face time. Chilling, chilling in the cut here. Uh, okay, my name's Marcel Rashad. My rap artist name is Marcel Rashad. Uh, my government is Marcel Rashad Cables. So you can look me up through either of those, and you'll find me, and you'll find my music and or my artwork. So um, uh, I am part of a, a, a group called One Drug. Uh, I once once uh, I'm gonna definitely come back here and I can bring the whole one drug fam uh, here. But uh, yeah, you can find me pretty much everywhere you can find music: Spotify, YouTube. Um, was it, uh, the the all the other Bank ones? Camp title sound. Thank you, thank YouTube. you. My brain just stopped <laughs> thinking for a minute, and I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> Oh, yeah. thank you. All streaming oh, platforms. All streaming platforms. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I don't have any, um, have a lot of new music coming up this year. A lot of content. I don't have an album. Sadly, I think that's mainly just, you know, how the industry's kind of set up now. People don't do albums like they used to. Uh, but with that said, I do have a lot of new music coming out. Um, and you'll be hearing it relatively soon. I do have a new song out uh, called Bad Things with Jay Kazi that you, if you haven't, you guys haven't peeped it out, which you probably haven't, should probably do that because it's a really good song. Uh, and yeah. I thought you said J. Cole for a second. I was like, no, J. Cole. I, I, I wish. Cole? <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine Cole? <laughs> All right. Oh, my turn. Your turn, yeah. All right. Well, shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> in case I'm going to end it off getting cracking in. Yo, yo, this your boy here, the man. Yeah, he's first. All, let me shout Let me shout out to uh, Poe Eddie for getting all, us, all of us to get on this project. And also, shout out to Matt for getting us on the Daily Digs once again. Well, my case once again. Yo, right on to you for that. And once again, yes, my name is Hit Man Yates. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Sound, damn, I almost said SoundCloud. I'm SoundCloud too, but yeah, all streaming platforms: YouTube, YouTube Music, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon. Where just type in, type type me in wherever you can find me. You can find my first first project, Hit Man Yates. Second project, which is out now, brand new, uncontained. Yeah. Go ahead, check the, check that shit out. Tap the fuck in, <laughs> and <laughs> cause that's exactly how I'm coming on that album. Tap the fuck in, uncontained. Yeah. Hit him in. And also check out Saints when it drops. Hit a man, hit a man. Yes. When is it dropping for the audience out here? When do you plan? It to drops it? March fourteenth on three one four day. Three one four day. Yes. Okay. Yes. St. Louis day. Right. CL day is when you get Saints and um, hope you guys know me. Hopefully by now, I am poetic. I'm available. On all digital streaming platforms as well. I had to think about that. I was trying to list them all, but I was like, no, I'm just going to stick with that. <laughs> Available on all digital streaming platforms as well. Capricorn out. RNP 2 out. RNP the beginning will be coming out soon. Um, Saints comes out 314 day. 314. Make sure that you are um, ready to lock in and hear all these great, uh, all these dope artists and all the their incredible work that they've put forth on this project. I'm super proud. 
Um, and again, yes, I have the, the performance April 7th at Westport. That's Backstreet Bar. Make sure you guys come out. Show starts at 8. Doors open at 7. Free event. Okay. Yes. I, I think I'm going to come to that if, I, if I'm in yeah. town. Yeah. So. For sure. Awesome. For sure. Awesome. Well, thank you guys all for being on the Daily Dirt Dustin Diggs. Uh, we're on a little hiatus right now, but I did a special thing because I just love her music. So, <laughs> I, I, I. but we come back after the 20th of March. And so we do daily shows starting then. So. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, so, man. That's dope. Artists so. United. Thank you again. Yeah, for thank you guys us, so much. Man. Appreciate right. you. Definitely subscribe to the Daily Dirt on uh, YouTube and subscribe, like, share, subscribe. subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you again later.